Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on the Hermit Pack. Uh, so, here's our in portal room. Did a little bit of redesigning. I got uh, one iron bar from the window here and stuck it three blocks down from this corner. That's what I'm standing on. And then directly under me, there's a diamond spike from the base. So the silverfish will spawn and they try to get to me. And uh, they kind of push each other into that diamond spike right there and die and drop iron. And then I pick up the iron and it comes up to me from my item magnet through that little gap right there. Just like that. So it's like the slowest iron farm ever, but it's actually really good. Uh, I left this running and I went out and got some food and came back. And <laughs> now I've got like two rows of iron in my inventory. So, yeah. Um, also, Cormac mentioned that I could probably pick up that spawner right there with the moving wand right here. It's actually a really simple recipe. Uh, just two ender pearls, redstone, and two wand cores, and the wand cores are three blazer rods and four gold nuggets. So, yeah, I could probably do that and just take it back to my enderman spawn room and just drop it off next to the enderman spawner and they'll be spawning in there too. Otherwise, I have a silverfish in a soul vial, and uh, so if this gets broken or that doesn't work, I still have a silverfish I can make a spawner out of. So, uh, these it's a little bit slower than I thought it was going to be, because when they try to get to me, they stop right before they run into the diamond spike for damage, so they don't actually die on it. So I figured why not use a full block, so I went and got one of those magma blocks that I've got like hundreds of in the base, made a similar setup on that side, let me fly over here real quick. Thing is, they seem to be immune to that. They don't take damage from that block. They'll just stand on that all day. So this was the winner right here. Just the only downside is they have to push each other into it because they don't want to walk onto it. But anyway, that was just me getting some extra iron while I was away. So let's put all that in the system. Uh, I also picked up some glass bottles to get some dragon's breath with. Because you can pick up the dragon breath from the dragon fight nowadays. Uh, made sure everything was pretty much good to go. Got some extra experience here. I was letting my shuriken uh, recharge. It was at like um, probably 110 or so on the ammo out of 180. So like 1100 out of 1800 durability. So it was getting a little bit low, but it's in really good shape now. Also, I made a obsidian tough... Was it a large plate, the obsidian large plate, and replaced the wooden large plate on the uh, cleaver. So now it's a wood obsidian cleaver, and that added a little bit of attack damage, like 0.9 or something. So instead of like 20.5, it's at 21.47. Anyway, so a little bit more damage on that. Um. And I also added the rest of the speed levels, haste, to the pickaxe. So now it's at haste distest for speed. You can't put any more on there. It's as fast as it gets for my pickaxe because I was uh, mining obsidian before I made that plate. Got like 20 obsidian. Anyway, uh, without further ado, there's our end portal. I probably don't need any better food than that. Let me go on out of here before I pick up a ton more iron. And let's take care of this dragon fight. Just in case I'm in trouble, I've got my Enderlink bag to drop all my stuff in. Just if I need to, like, save it. Alright, let's go. And down.
the only real thing I was worried about. Oh, kind of laggy there. Hang on a second. Okay, the only real thing I was worried about was my um, angel ring not working here. But it works. Cool. All right. Let's see. Hey, look, ender coal. But I'm not here to do mining. Let's go find this dragon. I'm going to mark that spot right there. Oh, yeah. All the ender ores. End redstone, end lapis. We've got these ender lilies. You can right click to harvest ender pearls off of them. They're also re replantable. What is this? Oh, hey, there's one of those rock hives. Oh, here. Him. him, her, whatever. And they are all aggroed on the dragon because it just did damage to them. That's weird, though. These rock hives show up in the end. Oh, you can't shuriken these. Oh, this might suck. Uh, hello? Yeah, this might kind of be bad. I can't shuriken those. Oh well, I'll just have to be careful then. It's like over half my health probably. That one's got a cage on it. Just gotta keep an eye on the dragon. Don't get too close. Probably should get better food for this, but I have a ton of the zombie jerky. Been trying to take care of that. Was that a dragon fireball? Like, way off? <laughs> Talk about bad aim. Okay. Oh, well, it didn't stay there very long. Go ahead and eat again. Alright. Plenty of distance. Come on. This is gonna take a second because I have to wait for my health to regen. Didn't bring any fancy potions or anything like that. Come on, HP. Oh, there goes the attack. That's weird, it's like... from the wrong angle and everything. No idea why. Maybe I should turn my render distance up. Let's see. Like 14. Not that it's terrible. Come on. Let me just double check. The shuriken doesn't work here, right? It doesn't like... No, it went right through it. That stinks. I'd have brought like a vanilla bow if I knew it wasn't going to do that. <laughs> Got a couple of bows laying around. How many have I got left? One, two, three. Looks like just three.
All these Endermen trying to get to me. Oh, something hit me. Ooh, that was close. I don't know where that extra ticket damage came from. Come on, HP. Should have brought some regen potions. I have a couple from uh, when witches get killed randomly. They'll drop them. All right. One left, right here. Holding down the right mouse button. <laughs> Here, okay. It might have been the fire underneath that did damage to me. Or it might have been an Enderman, actually. I can teleport up in there. Okay. That's all those taken care of. Can I shuriken the dragon? I couldn't tell if that hit or not. Just wait until it lands. Hey, Ender Bees. Do I have my scoop? Yes, I do. I can get some Ender Bees while I'm here. Alright, come on, land. Like, oh my god. Uh, let's turn you like way, way down on just about everything. I got thrown. Not much damage, though. What's up, Ender Buddies? I should have put uh, Life Steal on my cleaver, actually, now that I think about it. It's one of the mods I haven't added to the cleaver yet. Come on, land again. There you go. Maybe I should put haste on it so I can attack faster also. Over halfway dead. I'm not going to go chasing it around. <laughs> it will come back to me. Thirty-one, twenty-eight, twenty-five, 
22, 19, uh, less than 19, oh, now it's actually chasing me. Come on, hurry up and land. Taking all day. <laughs> Alright, come here, you. Angel ring is not fast enough. Hey, it dropped a spirit. I caught one of those in a soul vial also. Cool. So. Let us. Uh, put away. All this stuff that we don't need. Some of that went through the portal, I'm sure. Oh man. The Ender Bees killing me. Those things do some damage. The Beehives, they do a lot of damage. Anyway, that is our Dragon Fight taken care of. Let's scope out the terrain. So we've got the Rock Hives. There's two more over there of the Ender Bees. Uh, there's our teleporter to go off to the other end areas. I'll probably go check that out later. Get some chorus fruit and look for some elytra wings that we don't need. Is this uranium? No, emerald end or... Okay. Okay, let us... Oh, I got an Ender Lily Seed. Cool. Let's put that stuff away. Alright. Let's... Ow. Still haven't done the Apiarist suit yet or it wouldn't be doing damage to me. Ow. Yeah, those hurt. I want to get a couple of these end hives picked up though too. Some of the only ones I haven't picked up that are like the base types. And I'll have to go get a piston to get the egg from there. Anything else interesting in here besides just regular ore and a ton of endermen? I guess if I need more obsidian, I know where to get it. I really need some better food. <laughs> Alright, let's grab this one. Uh, Ender Drones, Ender Princess, Mysterious Comb. Centrifuge makes pulsating propolis. And you can turn that into pulsating mesh, which you can turn into an ender pearl. Okay, that's a lot of work to get one ender pearl. Looks like these aren't that useful then. I'm at one HP. That's a bad place to be. 
Uh, Ender Biotite. That's from Quark. What is this for? Weather sensors? Uh, okay, rain detector. Is that the thing that like generates power? Because of the vibrations that the rain cause or something like that? Something weird? Give me that. I'm gonna grab some of these ender lily seeds. Out of here. And grab a couple of in stone. I think I already had a couple that I sent back. But just in case, I'm gonna get a few more. Just so I know I have a lot more than I'll need. Uh, biotite again. Redstone. That's coal. I don't see anything like super interesting looking. See, that's emerald again? Yeah. Some of these look a little bit more purple than others, but it's just me seeing things. Yeah, I guess that's everything. All right. Well then, let's head back get our achievement. Skip the credits because no one watches credits. And come on, put me back. There it goes. Wait for the lag. Uh, nothing fell through here. Unless it's just lagging still. Guess it kind of is. Whoa, hello. What is that? <laughs> Was that my cleaver? I think that was the cleaver. Huh. So I didn't get the dragon's head? thought you were supposed to get the dragon's head when you killed it. Let me check the world spawn point, which is over here somewhere. I thought. Hmm. Oh well. That's weird. So why did I not get the dragon head? I wonder. Someone let me know. I might be overthinking it. Let's put this stuff away. And I think I have a... No, I have a sticky piston, not a regular one. That's fine. Got a recipe for a piston. And a lever. Don't have any of those to spare. We're going to get a stick. And... Uh, where's regular cobblestone? Do I not have a regular cobblestone? I have compressed cobblestone. Hmm. All right. And I guess I'll just take a couple more cobblestone to build with. Okay, let's run back over here and get our egg. Hmm. 
Uh, I wonder if that movement wand works on the egg. Probably not, though. Well, I don't know. If it works on spawners, it might. My luck, it would just delete it. <laughs> that would be my luck. I'd have to, like, cheat myself in a new one. Be like, well, it just got deleted. It's nowhere to be found. I'll have to go play around with that off camera a little bit. Or I'll just make one on camera for the next episode. That gives us something to do. Got some different types of little things to play around with after the uh, major achievements here are done. There's our fake um, stronghold location. Oh yeah, that uh, nature core actually planted a sapling. This thing right here. It planted a sapling on the edge of my uh, little tunnel that I made, and a tree grew right there. thought that was interesting. I came up out of here and was like, what? Why is there a tree here? So it's got a pretty good radius on those if you want to make a tree farm next to these. They have a pretty good radius. Oh, also, there's a chest here that I didn't look at. Potatoes. Eh, it's like the regular stuff. Pretty average. It's like probably the exact same stuff I got out of all the other ones. And here's some lag. There we go. Alright. And some more lag. So this is what my game was doing the other day. But. Ow. Uh, not as often as this. Wow, there it goes again. Alright, let's go back through. Make it entirely unload the overworld. Alright. I uh, don't need that on the bar. I really just need, like, this one block right there. Put this right there. And... I don't know, can you put a, a lever on the back of a piston directly? No, okay. It's got to have one block. That's fine. And item magnet grabbed it for me. Good. That's what I was hoping for. Let's clean this back up again. Alright, so there's our egg. Now, where do I put it? I wonder. Hmm... Could just leave it here, but nah, there's no fun in that. Back we go. We are gonna put this thing right. Uh, I went too far over. Let me get something shiny. Uh, not that. Where is the enlightened fused quartz? Make me one of these. There we go. Because I haven't used these to decorate anything with. And I'm going to put that right there. And put this right there. 
Aha! And then fix the roof. Oops. Okay, that still looks terrible. Ah, <laughs> uh, whatever. It's right there. It doesn't put off as much light as I thought it did. I guess it's probably just because these torches are here. Oh well. I'll do something with it later. <laughs> anyway... Until next time, thanks for coming by, thanks for watching, leave a like if you enjoy the series, and I will see you guys later. Have a good day.